Hi, Tech Rabbit here. More tools for the um, workshop. And this is a kind of an interesting tool. So this is a portable metal bandsaw. So this is a bandsaw that can um, cut metal, either um, while it's installed in the stand, or then you can take the saw separately and use the saw to cut steel. And uh, one of the big benefits about a ba bandsaw in general for cutting metal it's like using a, <coughs> a saw blade for cutting metal is that um, generally speaking you don't get the same sparks as you do with a grinding cutter and if you've been watching my previous videos then I actually do own um, two types of different grinding uh, cutters and um, yeah, as I said their main drawback is the generation of a lot of sparks and this, this does not do that so anyway let's get it open and see what we can find out and one of the um, Issues of buying <coughs> from the Lidl is sadly the fact that they they don't handle the packaging <coughs> very nicely. So this was the um, <coughs> the box with the um, least damage on it. So, well, so let's hope the insides are are okay. Hey, hey, sheepy! And now Daddy's gonna need to use a knife again. Maybe you want to go up there for a while. Yep, Chip is joining me for, as the quality insurance master. shouldn't fly into the box when I was trying to show. Okay, so um that is gonna be heavy to take up. So I think I will uh Cable, which is quite nice. And quite a massive clamp. And you clamp it in here and it <coughs> goes through. I don't think there's anything to, to actually assemble as such. molds work. So anyway, if you pull that out, and then this is actually initially a very stiff um, 
didn't seem to want to move, but then you can move this up and down. And then to adjust the angle, and you free that up. Turn this like that. <laughs> also, initially very stiff. Oh, that can't even be open. Anyway, you open that and then uh, you can swivel it so you can get an angle cut. So that's good. Ah, uh, this this uh, rocker, rocker rock like movement. I was very stiff when I started, when I first tried it. But now, after I've been moving it up and down for a while now, it seems to have um, freed itself up. Yeah, so this here is for um, tightening the blade. So in the middle position, it's kind of freed up. And then it has, you can either have it there, presumably, or there. But then according to the instructions, you should actually turn it like there. And now it's locked. It seems to tighten it up. No, it frees it up completely when it's there. So it actually needs to be in that position. And then the blade is, is tight for any. So anyway, let's um, put it into use and see how it does. So, this is going to be what I'm going to be typically sewing. You know, rectangular material about this size. And a couple of millimeters thick. Well, I might do pipe. Of course, you can use this for uh, PVC and other materials. So I'm thinking that I bought it. For so we're going to see how it does with this. And I wonder how it sounds when we start it up. So, um, see? the light on. too kind to the, to the equipment because I think one could actually one could actually put a bit of pressure on it without um, too much warping the, the holder. Now this this here is a, it's relatively long going that way so it's actually not supported. So, so um, let's have a look. Well, it's got a little bit of edge on it. But it did a very, I think it did a very good job of cutting. Um, it might increase the speed of it. I think that's, that's okay. I mean, dim dimension wise, I didn't really spend a lot of time setting this up, so I don't think it did it 100% of the time. We angled it. But that's due to my setup, so okay. Definitely, I think I could have done a better job setting. Uh, this, of course, relying on this indicator here as to what you have as an angle is probably not the totally best idea. And you should probably try and measure, uh, you know, confirm with the blade uh, against the stock bit that's, that's screwed down to you actually have it more perfect. So, yeah, that's it. Not perfect, but at least some. As I said, I'm not going to blame the machine for designing it. Well, it's made a nice cross section of it. Well, that's kind of a 
interesting. Oh, perfect measurement. It's actually, I think it's my eyes more faking than it looks twisted. Ah, it could be this end isn't straight. Yeah, the end isn't that straight. It's the end that I was looking at, trying to compare it to. Them. But anyway, as you saw, the uh, one of the biggest benefits of using this is you can um, actually cut things um, without creating lots of sparks. So, for example, in my very confined um, workspace that I have, it's actually a benefit of not throwing sparks everywhere. Um, so, um, so you can take your time and you can do it very easily. So, um, yeah, we'll see over time if this holds up. I don't know how long the, the blade will stay sharp or stuff like that. So I'll probably be making a follow-up video. Uh, to, um, yeah, I'll turn them up. So if you found this video useful, uh, please consider hitting the like button or subscribe. And you'll be able to um, catch up on the follow-up when I post it someday. And uh, if you'd like to support the channel, then you can consider buying me a cup of coffee or buy some merch. The links are in the description. And um, we'll see you in the next one. New stuff.